We are just days away from Vigo County's toughest ban on smoking in history. Several businesses and organizations will have to change to adapt, but one special club has a unique view toward smoking. News 10's Ron Moore explains. Step inside Club Soda and you'll see people working toward change. April Weddle is one of them. It's a place where folks who battle addiction can hang out in a safe atmosphere. Doing what it takes to stay sober, for some, that means lighting up. You can only give up so much so fast. And for the new people that come into Club Soda, they're giving up everything else. Either they want to or they have to. And now this is just another thing for them to give up. That's why she's not happy about the new ordinance that will go into effect Sunday. It'll mean that Club Soda will have to go smoke free. But not everyone is in a huff about the decision. Initially, it might hurt us a little bit, but over the long term, I think that it will benefit. George Fields is a former smoker, and he's also the director of Club Soda. He's in favor of the change and says many in and out of the club are with him. One of the, one of the common themes that I hear about people that, that choose not to come to the, the meetings that we facilitate at this club is the amount of cigarette smoke that we have here. So Fields says he'll do his best to please everyone, planning to make an enclosed space out here for smokers. It'll all be in line with the ordinance. However, he knows it'll take a while for everyone to get on board. April hasn't at this point. But she and Fields agree that at the end of the day, staying sober is the main focus while at Club Soda. Yeah, I'll go outside. I'll still be here. It's part of my recovery. And I'm sure a lot of other people will agree with me. They'll still be here. Even if it means dropping another habit while inside. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Rondrell Moore, News 10. Club Soda is a not-for-profit organization.